Hi guys, welcome back to another Simple Stamping episode. In this episode we're going to use a few colours to mix up a Simple Stamping card to kind of build a scene through Simple Stamping using the Snow Front card set. Now, in the main annual catalogue there's a similar stamp set called Waterfront. So I have used this as inspiration, this image here, and I'm going to try and... Um, Recreate that, okay? So I'm sure the colours are Bami Blue for the sky, maybe double stamped, Granny Apple Green and Crumb Cake. Um, possibly also a bit of Early Espresso, but we'll see how we get on. Um, there's a little section here which is stamped in white, so I've got the Wisp of White out. I have the Burrower Lap ribbon at the ready. And I have a piece of this, um, is it Petal Promenade? Put a prominent um, DSP, a little um, scrap. So I'm going to try stamping on that and turning it into a lovely little shape. Now this stamp set does not come with a sentiment, so I will need to pick one nearer the end of the tutorial. So, kind of casing the annual catalogue a little here. Now the card base I have is Granny Apple Green. So... What I'm going to do is I am just going to open all of my inks. Now you will see if you've been watching my tips and tricks, I still haven't put the colour um, strip stickers in here because I've not had a minute. But I, I will do it after this tutorial. Now I can see from here that that's blue, green, crumb cake, but I'm not sure you can see the green here. It's quite easy to get mixed up, so I want to make sure that I can see the titles here at least, okay? So that's our card base, and this is our card front. Now, I am going to... Now, what day is this? What day is this that I'm publishing this? This is going to be Simple Stamping number 26, which is scheduled for the 14th of September. Yesterday was my birthday. It's me officially um, 41. So, um, yeah, so that's what this simple stamping's for. This is episode 26. Right, now, I haven't practised this, so I'm just going to play. I'm going to play. Now, what I want to do... Oh, I've just dropped some cards. What I would like to do is start off with the mountain scenes okay so i just prepare that just now and i'm going to pop that on my block so i want these to be um and crumb cake okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to start off with a mountain here, okay, then another mountain higher up, like so, um, I'm going to stamp just with the top half to create a little mountain area there, and that'll do, so I'm just cleaning that off of my, my stamping scrub. Um, there's another little image in here, which I'm going to use to kind of infill. Not sure if that's the right one to go with this um, or not, but I'm going to use it anyway, just to kind of build up some colour in those mountains. And it kind of shows um, some texture as such. I'm going to stamp that one a bit darker. And I think I may stamp here a little darker. But you can see that the little mountains are coming together. I want one down here. Right, now, I would like just to fill in some of the little gaps just by double stamping, like so. Stamp off, stamp on. I think that's 
looks quite mountain scene. I think, I think. Right, so next step now is to do the grassy area. Now, for the grass, I'm going to use this one here. And I'm just going to see what it looks like. I think I may need to um, stamp off it some areas as well, just to give a different mix up and I may even turn round my stamp like so and you can see we're building a little scenic area now again I'm just going to add this here love it, love it and again I'm just using bits and bobs of the stamp to kind of fill in the gaps. Now we want this um, to come further down but I think we may need another mountain in there just to break up the scenery a little bit. So take that off and put the mountain one back on. Now I'm not keen on that actually. I think I'll use the top half again. Like so. I'm just going to pop a little bit here and tiny little bit there. Great. And it's just really, it represents, you know, the mountains come down, there's grass, there's a little bit of rocks and whatnot. I'm hoping that's what it looks like anyway. Oh, anyway, you can see it's coming together. Right, so some more grass. Mm -hmm, right across there, like so. Just going to stamp over as well. You really just got to make this up as you go because there's no right or wrong rule. And the less rehearsed it looks, the, the better, kind of. Okay, so let's get this one like so. Just like that. And it's really great because you can see all the different shades of green. So we're stamping on and off kind of thing. This does take a little while, mind you. I maybe should have started off with a smaller, smaller size card. <laughs> oh, I didn't realise there's that much room on this. That's my fault though. You'll see, I'm just filling in. You could use a blender pen as well if you want. Can you do that? But if you do it just with your stamps, it's even better. Put a little bit there. Right. There's a little scene. Now, by no means is this a um, Van Gogh or anything. It's actually quite messy. But, you know what, it doesn't matter. Now, I'm going to see what this one looks like. It's... One that represents water, but I'm going to see how it stamps for the sky, for some clouds. And I think that is fantastic. I'm going to stamp off and just um, add some clouds. Now there is a little um, overlap with some of my dirty hand prints. do apologise. There! I think that's awesome. <clears throat> Whether you guys like it or not, I do not know, so there. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll close up the inks because I keep sticking my fingers in them. Such a clarity burger. Yeah, sore. Sore, sore, sore. Right, let me clean my finger. Get a little sip of my coffee. Hope that's bright enough for you. Oh, I love a good coffee. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere this to the card now. Find my glue. Find my glue. I like to try something different, even if it's not my style. Um you never know if you're going to be good at something or enjoy it or 
what have you until you try. But I think that looks all right. Now this I want to stamp on. Now it is already square, so I need to find a sentiment. So I've got my whisper white there. Give me a second. Um, I'm thinking what kind of sentiments was in the other one? Every little kindness makes the world brighter. Friends make good times. Um, right, let me see if I can find a friendship one. Uh -huh. I think if there's one in here that fits, which is a strong and beautiful set, um, I'm going to use that for sure. I just need to see if it fits. You have what it takes to be unstoppable and I couldn't be more proud. Now, the only thing is, because this is quite a delicate one, I'm not sure how it's going to stamp with the white. It seems to be covered okay. Far too dark a paper. Um, far too dark. Right, okay. Give me a second. I'll grab a piece of crumb cake or such like. La 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 la. Always have some um, scraps. So, let's see. Because I do want to stamp um, in this colour. So, let's see how it looks. If I just pop that there. I think that's lovely and discreet. Very pretty. Right, that's that cleaned. Now, what I think I'll do as well is I am going to add um, some of the little deers on this card, I think. And the reason I want to add the little deers is because I think it will add some character. Now, what I need to do is cut this down. So let me shut this. No, in fact, I'll keep it open in case I want to stamp something. Stamp something else in white. Right, now, I'm just going to trim that off there. Now, you need to be careful because the white can sometimes take a little longer to dry. Um, so just make sure you're not putting your paws all over it. Okay, now I think I may put this into a banner. So let's see if it fits in my banner punch. I'm sure it will. Now what I want to do is I'll just shove it in there and punch. And then I need to um, get my tweezers to get it out. So... Tweezers, tweezers, where are you? Honestly, what am I like? Let me push it back out. Come on, don't be shy. There we go. And look at that. Wasn't that a good guess? So that is going to go there. And what I want to do is I want to add on some gorgeous, gorgeous burlap ribbon. Okay, so I need two pieces of this. And what I want to do is I want to rip through... Um, show it as a little banner here as well and um, if I can cut it properly so I need to make sure that it um, covers the right height okay so we'll cut one bit like that I love this ribbon absolutely stunning I love it I love it so what I mean is I want to stick that one like there Oops, I'm off screen. And pop that like so. And I will trim this off a little bit. So I'm going to turn that upside down. I'm going to add some tear and tape, which I already have out. Let me move my inks out of the way. Okay, so, or I may actually use some glue dots. Yeah, I'll, I'll use glue dots because, um, it's a lot quicker. So one, two, oops, two, three. Another three on this side. One, two. I know it seems like a lot of dots, but if it seems faffing about with, uh, what do you want to call it? 
um, tearing tape and give it to me any day. <laughs> so I'm just um, positioning it centred like so. I'll give you a close up in a second. I want to match that together. Okay, so, see that's a bit squint. So it needs to go like that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim to give a little border, alright? Now, I'll adhere this with some, um, some dimensionals. And I will need to add a little glue dot underneath here because um, we want those bits sticking down so that you could see the actual flag area. Okay, so I'm just putting it on so that overlaps both the cardstock and the burlap ribbon. I think this is going to turn out all right. And, and you'll notice I've made a little boo-boo here, so this is going to cover it perfectly. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Right. Now let's get this little glue dot right in the middle here. Okay. And then we're simply going to make sure those two pieces are stuck together. Isn't that pretty? And what you could do is you could add some... You're saying, I'll wait for it. I know exactly what she's going to say. Wink of Stella. But I think that's all right. I think that's quite pretty. Now, I do want to add um, the little bambinos on there. I think that will finish the card off nicely. And I want it in an Espresso. You could use grey if you like, but I think I would like to see them stand out a bit more. So, let's get the little deers. Now, that's them there. And you can see how they, they print quite nice. This was a practice thing I'd done a while back. So, I'm just going to stamp on there. Such a gorgeous effect on these. Really, really is. I absolutely love it. Now, I'm going to put... I think I'll put a couple down there. Um. And a couple over here. I think that's gorgeous. Love it. Absolutely love it. And the sentiment's so gorgeous. You could add a little bit more oomph by embossing it if you like. But you could do this too. Create a scene with your uh, scenic stamps. And um, all you need to do is make sure you're using coordinating colours. I'll recycle these by the way. I'll keep them. Oh, pardon me. So, a little bit more advanced simple stamping, but easy nonetheless. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching. Um, oh, I do apologise, I've got off a burpee all of a sudden. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this, and um, thank for, thanks for stopping by. And I'll go and put my tongue back in my mouth now. <laughs> thanks guys, see ya.